UK border agency is at war with smugglers in the ports of the airports. You don't have to say anything. Get that out of my face. Coming up in Manchester as pulls over a tricky customer. Do you understand you can't bring them into the country? Now I've got ten guns in there, four seats. Okay sure. now. I hope you haven't. Are you listening to what I'm saying? People smuggle more than oh, chicken fine. on a flight okay. from Pierre. Oh. oh, I'm very sorry about that. Lots of people lose their sausages. We should have to buy some English sausage now. And when Diesel sniffs out some baseballs, a smuggler's plan is left ripped at the seams. The actual stitching doesn't look too good on them. You can see there on the end of the knife axis, it looks like a white powder. Flight crews are also subject to regulations, and today UK border officer Liz is using a way, new sir. thermal camera to search the pilot. Okay, that's fine. Could you just turn around and face the wall for me, please? The pilot takes the new security okay, measure in good much. spirit. Do I get to see? Uh, uh, you, you, you can't, unfortunately. No, you can see me if you want. You <laughs> see me? Wants to have a go himself. Yeah. So I just. It's all in monochrome, like uh, not coloured. No. It's not coloured. No. Okay. So it's a, ther a thermograph kind it's, of thing. Yeah, it's a thermal imager. So I'm cool. You're cool to go, yeah. The officers cool. find nothing untoward on the crew, so turn their attentions to the passengers. Kevin spots a bag bulging with rectangular packages and tracks it into the channels. Inside, he finds well over the allowance of 200 cigarettes and lots of answers. Are you here on holiday or are you working? Yes, I am on holiday. On holiday? Yeah. On your own? Just yeah. you? Just you? One. Just you, No one. family? Conveniently, the passenger doesn't take the stand. From 13 to uh, 18. Who were the cigarettes for? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Them things on there? Yeah. Who were they for? He also doesn't seem to no. understand. No. Who oh, 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 this was one. Sorry? Parcel. They're for yourself? Yeah, yes, I would. All them are for you? Not for myself. For sell. To sell? Yeah. You're going to sell them? Yeah. Who to? Who will you sell them to? It's a surprising admission and against the law. You don't know? But the man's situation gets worse when Kevin discovers he works for the airline. If it's a crew, a crew member is yeah. classed as a privileged person. Yeah. Now if they're carrying excess amounts of cigarettes, yeah. over a thousand, well they'd be arrested and we could prosecute them for it. Right. Now this guy's Why got nearly 10,000 cigarettes. Okay comes to light now that the passenger is a member of staff who works in Karachi and as such he's on a staff ticket, he's classed as a privileged person which means he has to be arrested and prosecuted. Kevin calls in the investigation team. David, just let one of them know we've got a prisoner over at T2. Three with cigarettes, nearly 10,000. So we just let them know we're going to have a prisoner in due course but they're going to need a translator. Um, we're about to do the arrest. We're just waiting for an Urdu speaking the immigration officer to come down to facilitate that. Kevin's keen eyes picked out the smuggler, and as he works for the airline, the man may be losing his job as well as his cigarettes. UK border officers in Dover face a 24 hour tide of trucks and cars. Smugglers use the sheer volume of traffic as a cover and it's the job of the selectors to pick out vehicles to be searched. There's a selector over the freight lane that has been selecting certain vehicles. And this vehicle here that we've intercepted today is in connection with a heroin job um, that they intercepted last week. With information suggesting links to a previous heroin seizure, sniffer dog Millie and handler Nicky are brought in to speed up the search. I've got a few of my colleagues having a look at the moment. There could be either a concealment space in there or even better, a large quantity of money going outward bounds. The driver is in Dealing with angry drivers is a daily hazard. I don't have no rich. That's my home, my sleeper, and I let dogs hurl all over my bed. When the dog starts to you can go in and have a look around. I have dogs. Dogs want the I let their own balls. The officers have the power, but their 
trying to respect the man's wishes. Well, if you're telling me you're going to put that dog on, I want her to say that you are allowed to. I am saying I do not want that dog to win that job. I mean, it's very right, and I'm asking you not to put the dog in, and you're saying you are, and by law you can't, so I want you to give me a black and white. Is that fair? That's fair, I can go and get you yeah. again. Yeah. Listen, see dogs, we love dogs, up. I have no bar with dogs. No problem with dogs. Okay, well, it's my beer. Like, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're saying exactly. All right? Calm down a little bit. With the information linked to a previous heroin job, the driver's reluctance to let Millie into his truck is raising suspicions. The driver's obviously not too happy about the dog going in the cab, so we're just getting the forms to say that we are actually allowed to go in there. As soon as I get this letter, then we can get on with it over If Millie finds drugs, dog hair on his pillow will be the least of the driver's problems. Back in Manchester, the Urdu interpreter has arrived. <laughs> this smuggler caught with 10,000 cigarettes also works for an airline and is about to be arrested. We've had the translator explain to him exactly what's happened. He's, he's upset now because he, he's worked for the airline for 33 years. He thinks he's now maybe and, you know, about to lose his job but he's not only brought in nearly 10,000 cigarettes, which he's admitted he's going to sell. It's an offence, you, you can't do that, unfortunately. As he's led away to be searched, the man's nerves get the better of him. He wants to go to the toilet. Not got anything in there, he's in the ditch, is he? Yeah, just shut the door so he can go to the toilet. He wants to use the toilet, but because he's not been searched yet, he could have evidential stuff on him that he'd try and flush down the loop. Cigarette smugglers aren't usually accompanied to the toilets. During the search, officers do find something in his jacket, and the man's day goes from bad to worse. A small package been found in the gentleman's pocket, and it looks like it, it could be drugs, possibly opium. I think it's possibly cannabis resin. You get a particular oh. type of resin in Pakistan. If it does turn out to be potentially drugs, yeah, it's, it's cannabis. You see it's gone that red colour. So he, he, although he's been arrested for the cigarettes, He's now going to have to be arrested again for this. Okay. Cannabis. Listen. Okay. It's now 12.06. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being knownly involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything. It's going to make all your defence if you do not mention the question in something which you later rely on in court. Do you understand? Suddenly the situation is crystal clear. Do you understand? Yeah. With two crimes to answer for, the consequences could be serious, even for such small amounts. 3.5 grams. Well, he's potentially going to lose his job if his airline is involved about the offences he's committed. For, for the importation of the cigarettes, if we do decide to prosecute, he could face a fine and for the importation of the drug as well. You're looking at a compound penalty, so that again could be a fine. So you could be facing a couple of hundred pound fine and, and potentially lose his job as well, which I believe he's been in his job for 33 years. So it was silly mistake to make this late in his career. Back in Dover, the team are dealing with the driver who doesn't want the drug dog in his cab but they've now found the rules that give them the power to search with or without his permission. 26 and 27, that you can use the dog as a living tool, right, sir? With the law on their side, the team can now get on with searching the truck. What we do, we, we put the dog in now. Do you want to come and see us through stages? OK. The intelligence team selected this truck to be searched in relation to a recent heroin seizure. Sniffer Dog Millie is looking for drugs or cash which may be connected to crime. This guy's um, Irish. Um, we've had, recently we've had quite a few jobs from Irish vehicles coming into the country, um, largely being Class A. Searching a massive truck like this can take hours, but sniffer dogs like Millie can do it in a matter of minutes. Come on in. Millie. Oh, 
Okay. With the cab yeah. search over, Millie checks the driver. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you. Good girl. No, I didn't get anything from that. Um, didn't go in the load because so it's frozen meat. So just did the outside of the cab. That's great, sir. Sorry about that. We've dumped the dog now, so what I'll do... I'll if do the driver dog. didn't want Millie in his cab, he certainly doesn't want her in his trailer full of meat, and the officers decide to search it themselves. They find nothing, and the truck is free to go, for now. I spoke to the selector. Um, he's happy, he's got the paperwork, and he's going to evaluate it going out. Maybe stop it coming back in, but going out, perfectly happy with it. All right, sir, thanks very much for your time. Sorry, it'd be a problem. Uh, there's your stuff. OK. This is the complaints, all right? If you're not happy, I've said that you've been compliant. You've been no problems at all. Um, I've just said you weren't happy with the dog going in. OK? Good job. OK, thanks very much for your time. Good Lorry searches do take time, and the officers are well versed in dealing with drivers upset at the delay. We do come across that, but we are actually allowed to go in the vehicle, so she didn't mark anywhere. She had clean feet. <laughs> As an insulted Millie ambles off, the driver leaves happily in his dog hair free cab. Coming up, as pulls over a tricky customer. Do you understand you can't bring them into the country? Now I've got 10 buns in there, forcing you Okay, now. Your buns. I hope you have them. Coming up. Are they just giving you the price of the paper over there? Yeah. A surprisingly honest passenger is given just a lesson. You can't receive any. Just you can't receive I any know. payment. I don't want Do you know? In Gatwick, it's not just passengers that might be smuggling drugs. In the freight area, UK border officer Lorna and sniffer dog Diesel are searching packages from Jamaica. We're just over in the freight sheds and we're going to um, search some of the DHL courier mail. Any of the thousands of packages a day passing through Gatwick could contain cocaine. So using the skills of the sniffer dogs is vital. We come over here most days and uh, there are quite a lot of detections found over here. So it's a good area for the dog to work. Diesel, look. What's this? Lorna watches Diesel closely, waiting for any sign that he's detected drugs. Trig, do you mind having a look in that for me, please? Which one? This one. The sensitive Thank you. nose of a drug dog can sometimes be alerted by a few tiny particles of cocaine innocently picked up by contamination. But today, Diesel seems unusually excited. Okay. Hold on a minute. Sit. The package has come Wait. from Venezuela, a known source of cocaine, which makes contamination seem the most likely cause of the dog indication. It looks like um, we could have some personal effects, so it looks like a pair of trainers there, a couple of baseballs and a couple of uh, items of clothing that actually look OK. They don't look to be uh, anything suspicious about the clothing. I'll uh, just obviously have a quick check of the shoes. Disappointingly, the contents look innocent and have already been examined in Venezuela. The Venezuelans, you can see, uh, they tried to see if there's anything in them. It doesn't look like there has been. Have a look at a couple of baseballs. Um, Just as it looks like a false alarm, nice. Duncan notices the stitching's been tampered doesn't, with. The actual stitching doesn't look too good on them. Um, it looks pretty um, ordinary. It claims to be an official baseball, but uh, if I try and undo the stitching a bit... Ah. You can see there on the end of the knife, actually, it looks like a white powder. That could possibly be um, cocaine in its powder form. Steve, have you got a test kit? It's starting to look like yeah, Diesel's nose okay. was right. Um, okay. And then just try and dab a little bit of this solution on top. If you can see there, we've had a blue reaction on the actual filter paper. And that indicates presence of cocaine from the white powder. Brilliant. It uh, looks like the dog's done pretty well. Yay, well done, Diesel. Lorna's delighted, and Diesel gets a well-earned reward. Good boy. Yay, good lad, good it. Yeah, very good work by the dogs. Uh, nice indication that uh, he's, uh, obviously, they're like, like playing with balls, so you're never quite sure whether he's actually indicating or not, just wants to play with the ball, but on this occasion, he's uh, done very, very well. Thanks to Diesel, another illegal shipment of cocaine will now be destroyed. Meanwhile, across in the south terminal, a flight is just touching down from Kiev. 
This time it's prohibited meat products in suitcases that the UK border sniffer dogs are looking for. The Kia flight is normally pretty good, um, a lot of sort of sausages and cheese and things like that, and they just don't seem to understand that they're not allowed to bring it in. So um, sometimes it goes around the sort of local community quite quick, and sort of if you've hit a flight quite a bit, you'll see it sort of ease off a bit. Um, but they still seem to be bringing it in, so. The EU has strict animal health rules, Keep and it's the border me. officer's job to we'll keep out to eat any in unregulated bag. products. Do you have food in here? Apple? Yeah. Wine. Anything else? Fruit and wine Any are meat? within EU regulations, but it's illicit meat Kabasa? that's off the menu. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you. Okay, madam, if you just come with me. Where have you travelled from today? From Kiev. Kiev, okay. Are you travelling on your own? With a number of health scares oh, in recent fine. years, okay. EU rules have been and Do you live in the Ukraine or do you live in the UK? OK. You're not allowed to bring any meat products or any dairy oh, products. No, sorry, yeah, so right. you're not in any trouble, but you're not allowed to bring them in, so we have to take them from you. Uh -huh. OK. Let's have a look in the bag. Oh, oh I'm very sorry about that. Lots of people lose their sausages. <laughs> she seems quite pleasant. She's not upset. She said it's good sausage. It's a shame she's lost it, but she's not upset. She hasn't moaned at me yet, so she just remember for next time she's lost her money. And she left to buy some English sausage now. It's a small seizure, but importing products of an animal origin is a serious okay. problem. So that's 430 grams there. If you do bring meat in again, then you can get into trouble. Unlimited fine or imprisonment even. But I doubt that will happen with a bit of sausage. OK, thank you. Just put this one to one side and we're going to get the next passenger. And Jasper has now sniffed out a queue of passengers to be searched. In Manchester, an early morning flight from Paphos has just touched down. It's within the EU, so passengers are entitled back, to bring back as much tobacco as they like, as long as they aren't receiving any money. I see you've got some cigarettes there. Yeah. Who are they for? Well, for me. Yeah. All right. Are they just giving you the price that you paid for over there? As is surprised by the woman's honesty. All right. She's already explained to me that she's going to get the cost price for some of the goods, which, as an EU traveller, is not permitted because those who aren't travelling aren't uh, entitled to that privilege. As gives her another uh, chance to explain. Can you identify what you're actually giving away to your friend, family? Well, yeah, obvious. Is it just the gold leaf yours? Are you giving any of the tobacco away to anybody? No, I'm going to start over my own. Have you ever rolled your own? No. So I'm why? Buy machines. You can. I'll, I will give presents away as them if that's yeah. okay. Are you saying to me that once you've finished your cigarettes, you're going to start rolling? No, I'll give All them as right. presents. Yeah, I'll take yeah. them off. No, 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 I'm not going to take them out. I'm just trying to understand what you're saying to me. The woman now says she'll give away the tobacco as presents, which is fine, but she's still making things difficult. Is this all your luggage? Yeah. Did you pack everything yourself? Yeah. Do you understand what you can and can't bring into the country? Like, yeah. you can't bring any controlled drugs, like indecent obscene material, no, firearms. Yeah, I have... Oh, just yeah. Do you understand you can't bring them into the country? Now, I've got 10 guns in there, 14. Okay, sure now. I hope you haven't. Them, okay. Really... Right, well, I don't want to take them off you, okay? As yeah. tries again to help the woman keep her tobacco. But what I need you to understand is that when you bring goods in for somebody else, I asked you a question. The question was, are you just getting the cost price for the goods? Yeah. And you said, yeah, right? Which is nice, and it's yeah, nice to be this, straightforward about it. I However, do now. are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Because they're not traveling with you, you can't receive any payment for the goods. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So well, if if money is exchanged for these goods, that's not permitted. I'm not selling them. I know, but you're getting the cost price for the goods, aren't you? No. That's what, what you just said. I didn't. I said the presents. Right. I asked you a question. I know what you said. You need to remember, you can only bring in tobacco for yourselves. Yourself. Giving them away as gifts is not a problem. Mm -hmm. However, if you're getting cost price that you paid over there, that's not permitted. Well, I would have brought a lot more than that. Wouldn't well, it, I don't know that. Make... Just remember, Sorry, you can't receive any. Just you can't receive I any know. payment. I don't want Do any... you know? No one's got any money to pay me. Finally, the message right, is thank to you again. sunk in. Quickest way out, straight down there to the right, and then left. Wow. I asked her if she was receiving any payment for the goods, 
and she says, uh, yes, she'll be receiving the class price. She was a bit nervous, perhaps, coming back after such a long flight. Gave her the benefit of the doubt, because after a while she did change the story. Uh, she seemed happy about my decision. Hopefully she'll remember not to bring in goods for other people who aren't traveling with her. Back in Gatwick, the animal products team are also dealing with passengers who claim Free. not to understand that customs okay. regulations. Okay. Many okay, you together. can't resist the temptation yeah, wait here of behind this family, products, please. but if it's non-EU, it's not coming in. What food have you got in your bags? Fish. Fish and... and Breadfruit. Okay, anything else? No, just fish. Any patties? What flavour are they? Beef, okay. Okay, you just have to go with the officer, okay? Put some beef patties on the back of Hey, madam, yeah. just come with me. And the dog's indicated saying you've got some meat products, yeah, you've got some beef patties, okay. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to bring any meat products into the UK. No, unfortunately not. It's the same as from all countries outside of the EU, you're not allowed to bring any meat products. It seems she made the same mistake before. Do you know what, is this new, the patty one? Uh, no. Oh, they should. Oh, well, maybe they haven't looked for the patties before, but if you've got the vegetarian ones. Oh, my God, the vegetarian ones are all right. Yeah, because there's no, obviously, there's no meat in a vegetarian oh, okay. patty, uh, but anything containing meat's not allowed to be bought in. Pete does his best to clarify the rules. But you'll have to bring one fish. Does it say one fish? Um, no, <laughs> you're, allowed, you're allowed to bring in as many fish as you like now. One fish, whatever weighs the highest. Yes, yeah, so if your fish weighs more than 20 kilograms, oh, yes. you're not allowed to bring it in. That would be a big fish, so you'd have to have a real long suitcase to fit that in. The woman is philosophical about her lost burgers. You can't get them type of patties here. It's only in English patties. They're not really taste the same. Never mind. Next time I know. <laughs> OK. Like, no more patty. Your... You can't have patty. Look, this is what it says. Be patty, none. That's what I signed for. Sorry. OK. The woman leaves, marking the end of a busy shift for the meat team. Well, people were smuggling in uh, cheese and patties, which they shouldn't have been, but we've taken them from them. It's a good job we got the dog, because you can't always find them products without the dog sniffing for them, so it's good. It's a large haul and will be added to the 200,000 kilos of animal products sniffed out by the border officers each year. A further examination of the Venezuelan baseballs found cocaine hidden inside them all with a street value of £10,000.